In the western part of Rio de Janeiro, prison officials were shocked when a notorious Brazilian gang leader named Clovino da Silva, also known as Shorty, tried to pull off an escape plan that was as audacious as it was bizarre. Clovino da Silva, a high-ranking member of a powerful Brazilian drug gang, was serving a 73-year sentence for drug trafficking. Apparently, he grew tired of his life behind bars and decided to hatch an escape plan that seemed like something out of a Hollywood movie. His plan? Dress up as his daughter and simply walk out of the prison gates. To do this, he enlisted the help of his daughter, who visited him in prison. While this may sound right from a comedy sketch, the attempt was quite serious. But as you might expect, things didn't exactly go as planned. On March 17th, in a daring escape reminiscent of The Great Escape, two inmates managed to break free from the Saint-Jerome jail in Quebec, Canada, by clinging to a cord attached to a helicopter. It all began when two accomplices hijacked a helicopter and forced the pilot to fly to the Saint-Jerome jail. The daring plan was set in motion, and the helicopter descended towards the prison courtyard, with a cord hanging down for the inmates to grab onto. The two inmates managed to break free from the confines of the prison, leaving authorities baffled. But here's the twist in the tale. The escape was short-lived. Just a few hours after their daring helicopter getaway, both inmates were recaptured by law enforcement. This is the last glimpse of El Chapo inside his cell, pacing calmly, biding his time. Little did anyone know that he was about to execute one of the most daring escapes in recent history. As we watch, he appears to bend forward, focusing on something on the shower floor. A critical moment in his plan, he then sits down, seemingly removing his sandals, and just like that, he vanishes from sight. We now know that beneath that shower was a hidden tunnel, expertly designed to avoid detection by the prison's CCTV cameras. This tunnel would serve as El Chapo's highway to freedom. Here's a shocking incident caught on body cam footage that unfolded near a Little Rock courthouse on March 7th. The video captures the dramatic moment when Joel Delgado, an inmate, seizes an opportunity to flee from police custody by making a daring move. As we can see in the footage, Joel Delgado is in a wheelchair, presumably being transported near a Little Rock courthouse. Suddenly, he seizes the moment and jumps out of the wheelchair. Delgado takes off running with astonishing speed, leaving police officers stunned and scrambling to catch up. Despite his determined escape attempt, Joel Delgado was later apprehended that day. On May 29, 2021, a group of inmates at a Florence prison in Arizona orchestrated an audacious incident that left many questions unanswered. In the video, we witness a deal inside a cell, with one inmate acting as a lookout. As officers approach, the inmates quickly hide their activities. Meanwhile, another inmate heads upstairs to complete the exchange. The shocking part of this story is that inmates surrounded the officers in the stairwell while the exchange unfolded, effectively trapping them. The footage reveals the high level of coordination and planning among the inmates to ensure a secretive exchange took place within their cell block. Our next video revolves around this prisoner who discovered an unlocked half door while on a phone call and seized the opportunity to make her escape. With a stroke of luck, Cordell found herself out of sight of any officers. She didn't waste a second, quickly slipping out of her inmate attire and blending into the crowd. She cleverly removes her inmate garb and manages to blend in with inmates being released. All while remaining invisible to the watchful eyes of officers, she expertly conceals herself, playing a game of cat and mouse with the officers. Her daring escape unfolds behind a wall, leaving everyone clueless about her whereabouts. Next, we're diving into a jaw-dropping escape story that reads like a Hollywood movie plot. It's footage of a daring prison break that left law enforcement stunned. Our video begins at the Garland County Jail in Arkansas, where inmate Derek Estelle plotted a prison escape like no other. He had a plan and allegedly had an accomplice ready to execute it. In a cunning move that diverted the officer's attention, Derek Estelle seized his window of opportunity figuratively and literally. He deftly crawled through an open window, leaving the prison bars behind and sprinted toward the tantalizing prospect of freedom. It's a daring escape that showcases his resourcefulness and determination, all while keeping law enforcement on their toes. This video begins at a high security Russian prison. The escapee guy had a plan that was as wild as it was hilarious. The key to his escape, you guessed it, the meal window. 
This tiny window was his ticket to freedom, but it was so small that you'd think it was designed for a gnome. He had to get creative. The tension is palpable as everyone wonders, will he make it? He then begins squeezing his way through the meal window, his determination unwavering. Inch by inch, he perseveres until, at long last, he successfully wriggles his way through the narrow opening, tumbling onto the prison floor below. Our next jaw-dropping escape story takes us to the heart of Copenhagen, Denmark. Forget the classic tunnel digging and wall climbing, these prisoners had a different plan altogether. These prisoners were thinking outside the box, or should I say, outside the walls. They came up with a plan so audacious it's almost unbelievable. Why dig tunnels when we can crash through the wall with a bulldozer? A vehicle crashes through the prison wall, creating chaos and an entirely unexpected exit route. But here's the jaw-dropping twist. The footage we have isn't from the usual CCTV cameras. It's captured by a cameraman who happened to be outside the prison at that very moment. Now the question arises, was he in on the escape or was he just incredibly lucky to be in the right place at the right time? Not every day you see prisoners documenting their escape, but that's precisely what happened in Orange County. These inmates had a cell phone and weren't afraid to use it. The escapees are on the move, shimmying through vents and plumbing like it's a game of real-life Mario Brothers. One even gives a cheeky thumbs up, and there it is. On the roof, one of the escapees takes a selfie, probably to remember this unbelievable adventure. Regrettably, the fleeting taste of freedom was just that. Fleeting. After a mere week of liberty, the inevitable happened. They were apprehended and once more confined behind those unforgiving prison bars. It's a stark reminder that even though audacious, escape often carries equally unforgiving consequences. This chilling case unfolds behind the walls of the notorious Meshkovsky Courthouse in Moscow, where they employ an extraordinary security measure. This prisoner is held within a glass cage, a practice rarely seen outside Russia. This is done to prevent dangerous criminals from attacking or possibly escaping, and as it turns out, that's exactly what Grazer was planning to do. At first, it appears that Grazer has calmed down, but moments later, he manages to slip through the slats at the top of the bulletproof security dock. Then, another officer arrives, and at this point, it's clear that these Russian officers mean business. It's an intense standoff as one officer draws a taser, ensuring Grazer knows what will happen. After a dramatic struggle, Grazer is finally subdued. This fellow has just been handed a guilty verdict for illegal drug possession, and with the arraignment all wrapped up, the logical next step should be taking him back to the confines of the jail, right? But as our story unfolds, you'll see that things might not be as straightforward as they seem. Astonishingly, he manages to slip away from security and re-enter the courtroom. He quickly removes his prison issue shirt and uses it to hide his handcuffs. With his cuffs hidden, he ditches his distinctive orange prison issue shoes and continues barefoot through the courthouse. Like a shadow, he moves with lightning speed through the labyrinthine corridors of the building, stealthily navigating his way to the lobby. Without missing a beat, he pushes through the imposing front doors and disappears into the bustling street beyond. Remarkably, this escape goes completely unnoticed by anyone within the courthouse. But within just two hours, the police catch up with him hiding in a friend's house. You won't believe what these two daring women attempted in their quest for freedom. Our story begins just after the morning arraignment, where a group of female defendants was about to be loaded onto a bus headed to jail. But keep your eyes on the two women at the back of the line. Little did anyone know that these two had a plan up their sleeves. As you can see, they stepped quickly to the back of the line. Their legs were free, but their wrists were shackled together. Tracy and Mari seized their moment by slipping under the bus carriage. About 20 seconds later, as fate would have it, the bus came to a halt at a red traffic light, and that's precisely when our intrepid defendants sprang into action, capitalizing on this golden opportunity for escape. It's the daring maneuver that makes you hold your breath in anticipation. This next video takes us into Kentucky, where reality seems stranger than fiction. It's almost like a scene straight out of a blockbuster movie. Picture this, two inmates using trash bins to engineer their escape from the Louisville Metro Corrections Center. Unbelievable, right? But that's exactly what happened. According to authorities, their fellow inmates rolled out these two daring suspects in trash bins. As soon as the coast is clear, the inmates burst out of their hiding spots, poised for a daring escape from the facility. But hold on to your popcorn, because here comes the twist. Thankfully, the story takes a turn for the better. 
Both suspects are later apprehended by the determined police, ending their fleeting taste of freedom. Here is footage of escape, fear, and a desperate manhunt. A female jail guard finds herself on the run with none other than a towering six foot nine inch murder suspect. This prisoner had been serving a staggering 75 year sentence for a chilling crime, an attempt to kidnap someone in 2015. They were recently transferred to the county jail, awaiting their day in court. It was within these confines that they saw their golden opportunity to break free. The released surveillance video unveils a bone-chilling moment that allegedly chronicles the prisoner's escape, seemingly with the complicity of Sheriff's Deputy Vicky White. In a jaw-dropping twist, Deputy White is seen holding the door open for the handcuffed and shackled Casey White, and without a single word exchanged, she guides him into her patrol car, setting in motion a daring drive to what appears to be freedom. The atmosphere here is pretty chill. Lawyers, attorneys, and even prosecutors chat casually, and there's no sign of a bailiff. Meanwhile, the jury is deliberating the weapons charge, but moments earlier, Joey Watts was found guilty of assault, which could lead to a prison sentence. Watts casually walks out of the courtroom and no one notices. Watch closely as he reaches the exit and a man in yellow taps another guy. They both get up and Watts enters a stairwell at a leisurely pace. No one is chasing after him and he's made it to the ground floor. As he confidently gestures towards something or someone, an air about him suggests he hasn't a single worry in the world. With a newfound spring in his step, Watts strides purposefully toward the main entrance, savoring the tantalizing taste of freedom on his lips. But alas, his newfound liberty proves to be short-lived as the long arm of the law catches up with him the very next day. An unmonitored surveillance camera captured when Alonso Perez managed to break free from his handcuffs while in police custody. Unbelievably, the police re-enter the room, utterly oblivious that the cuffs had been expertly tampered with, and they make the shocking decision to leave him alone for a staggering 40 minutes. During this seemingly endless window of opportunity, Alonso Perez spots his golden chance and seizes it with a daring escape that defies belief. This next video is jaw-dropping footage that unfolded just outside a courthouse. As you can see, the deputy escorts the men to the bus, including Zeus Martinez. Like the others, he's wearing handcuffs, but his feet are free, and that's when he decides to make a bold move. Take a closer look, and you'll see Zeus Martinez making a break for it, just beyond the grasp of the second deputy. The officers immediately spring into action, giving chase, but one of them decides to stay with the remaining prisoners. He sprints to the parking lot with a determined deputy on his heels. However, the escapee's freedom is short-lived. Later that day, he's apprehended and swiftly returned to the courthouse, where he faces the consequences of his escape and the sobering news that his original bond has been significantly increased. It's a roller coaster of events that would leave anyone's head spinning. You won't believe the unbelievable turn of events that unfolded within the walls of a New Mexico jail, triggering an intense and nail-biting five-day manhunt before the inmates were apprehended. It only took minutes for three inmates to escape from the Curry County Detention Center on the morning of June 15th. Surveillance video from inside the jail shows three prisoners walking down a hallway before one of them appears to take out a set of keys and unlock a secure door, making their daring break for freedom. An alleyway camera captured the sight of these men, clad entirely in white, strolling away from the jail with a remarkable nonchalance. However, the real bombshell came from the interior of the jail itself. A watchful camera in the control room suddenly zooms in on a lone jail guard who appears anything but composed. She's visibly fidgety and nervous, and as events later unfolded, it was revealed by the deputies that she had played a pivotal role in facilitating the inmates' daring escape. Next up on our lineup, we've got a mind-blowing tale from the heart of Shoshone County in the breathtaking landscapes of North Idaho. Hold on to your hats for this one. An inmate just pulled off a jaw-dropping escape from the county jail by embarking on a high-stakes journey through the labyrinthine crawl space of a utility room ceiling. And believe it or not, this daring escapade took him to the lobby, leaving everyone scratching their heads in disbelief. It's a prison break that's straight out of a Hollywood blockbuster. In a shocking turn of events, the inmate found an opportunity to exploit a crawl space in the utility room ceiling of the Shoshone County Jail. This ingenious escape route led him into the jail's lobby, allowing him to break free from custody. Meet this 30-year-old woman arrested at a hotel in Wisconsin for theft. According to the authorities, she was placed in a holding cell, but her stay there was short-lived. Authorities left her with her cell phone to arrange bail, but in between dialing for help, she figured out a different exit strategy. Watch closely as this 97-pound woman slipped out the cuffs attached to the wall. As she sits at the table, a remarkable scene unfolds. 
She's seen deftly maneuvering between the phone and the handcuffs, her fingers dancing with astonishing dexterity. In a feat that would make even the most seasoned magician envious, she manages to liberate herself from the police bracelets in less than 60 seconds flat. In Bridewell, an inmate was waiting to be arraigned in a holding tank. In the same area, a deputy released people, checking names off a list to ensure the right individuals were set free. But, as they say, here's the twist in the plot. During his meticulous name-checking routine, the diligent deputy stumbles upon an inmate whose name simply doesn't belong on the release list. Without hesitating, he sends a stern command for the wayward inmate to about-face and head straight back to the cell. Then, with a quick nod to another officer, he firmly instructs them to slam that cell door shut. It's a sudden turn of events that would give any escape artist the chills. The guy then casually strolls out of the wide open cell, slipping past the watchful eyes of the officers who seem none the wiser. With the grace of a seasoned escape artist, he seamlessly merges into the group of inmates who are being released, nonchalantly walking alongside them toward the property area. And in a final stroke of audacity, he simply walks right out with the rest of the released inmates, as if he were just another person heading back into the free world. Imagine this, the scene is a police department, and right before your eyes a heart-pounding escape unfolds, and every moment of it is caught on camera. It's the kind of nail-biting drama you'd expect to see in a blockbuster movie. The person we're talking about here committed a criminal offense by swiping a battery. You might think that something like this could lead to a slap on the wrist, or maybe probation, but what happened next left everyone flabbergasted. This person decided to take the ultimate leap for freedom. He catapulted himself from the second floor of the police department, landing with a heart-pounding thud on top of a car parked below. And from there, he kicked it into high gear and sprinted away like a bat out of hell. Let's witness a 17-year-old inmate alone in a Rock County Sheriff's office room. Seizing an opportunity, he makes his way to a window, opens it, and jumps 12 to 16 feet to the ground below without hesitation. When the teenager pulls off this daring escape, an officer returns to the room, only to find it empty, as if the young escape artist had disappeared into thin air. The teenager successfully avoided being caught for approximately four hours before being apprehended. What makes a young person like this make such audacious escape attempts, even when the police are breathing down their neck? This man was once a member of North Korea's elite special forces. In 2013, he escaped North Korea and sought refuge in China. However, his desperation led him down a path of criminal activities. He was a prospect of deportation back to North Korea, where defection is a crime punishable by death. His resolve to avoid this fate led him to formulate a daring escape plan. With meticulous planning and nerves of steel, he managed to pull off a dramatic escape in just three minutes. This is where things get truly remarkable. He reached the wires on the electric fence without being detected using the rope. In a matter of seconds, he skillfully manipulated the wires, causing a short circuit that disabled the entire fence. He scaled the fence. <laughs> and disappeared into the night. This shocking footage shows an extraordinary escape attempt unfolding when a group of prisoners are transported. It begins with one prisoner seemingly determined to make a daring getaway. It is remarkable how the police officers display a sense of casual disregard. When the detainee begins to retreat, they seem unconcerned, indicating a possible underestimation of the seriousness of the circumstance. Now, let's zoom in on the nitty gritty of the situation. This guy is in lockdown mode, with shackles on his wrists and ankles, maybe even one of those ominous black boxes that make Houdini-esque escapes nearly impossible. They've locked him tighter than Fort Knox, leaving little room for any Houdini-style vanishing acts. We take you inside the Juvenile Justice Center in Nashville, Tennessee, where the unexpected unfolds after 9 p.m. Four teenagers, aged 15 to 17, were unsupervised while on a work detail. One of the young men starts down the hallway, but quickly changes his mind and joins the others as they head upstairs. With no one to stop them, they make a daring escape. The entire incident is caught on camera, and for now, they've successfully eluded justice. However, their brief taste of freedom is abruptly curtailed when they are eventually caught and may potentially face additional legal consequences. This sudden reversal of fortune marks the end of their momentary respite and thrusts them back into the complex web of legal proceedings. This prisoner was brought to court under the watchful eye of a deputy who, following protocol, removed his handcuffs and leg shackles. However, what happened next 
took everyone by surprise. In the blink of an eye, he deftly dodges the deputy who's supposed to keep an eye on him, kicking off an adrenaline-pumping chase through the courthouse corridors. It's like a scene from an action movie as he darts through those twisty hallways, leaving the deputy scrambling to keep up. The prisoner's short-lived freedom was met with the sheriff's office's swift and proactive response. The authorities immediately launched a search operation to apprehend him. The search operation lasted for several hours and covered a large area. Finally, the prisoner was located and apprehended by the authorities. A bold attempt to escape left bystanders stunned as this footage took place in a high court, creating a thrilling and intense incident. As we watched the unfolding drama, our focus was immediately snagged by an unusual detail. The detainee seemed to be missing a rather critical accessory, his handcuffs. This was far from your run-of-the-mill courtroom spectacle. It was as if we'd stumbled into a bizarre alternate reality where the rules of order had taken an unexpected vacation. With the police in close pursuit, the prisoner seizes a moment of audacity and leaps from the first floor window, plunging toward the ground below. The scene unfolds in seconds, leaving everyone stunned and uncertain about the prisoner's fate. In this video, an individual possesses an exceptional physical attribute, a remarkably slender frame. This unique talent ultimately becomes the key to unlocking their freedom, like a golden ticket. So our buddy here is serving time for theft. But you know what? He wasn't about to let a little cell wall get in the way of his dreams. Nope, not at all. However, despite the challenging circumstances, the individual devised a meticulous plan and embarked on a bold and daring escape endeavor. Feeling like Harry Houdini, he slipped through the narrow prison window while the guards were none the wiser. And just like that, our thin man was on the loose. Talk about a narrow escape, huh?